Mona Lisa. Hi everyone, this is Odyssey, and for today's video, I wanted to share with you my experience traveling during pandemic. So it's already my first month here in Germany and maybe if you do have friends or relatives who will be traveling for work or overseas Filipino workers and is wondering how is it in the airport, the documents that were asked, then kindly stay tuned. I left Philippines last December 17 of 2020 and I had a connecting flight to Dubai. Pagpasok mo pa lang, they have to, you have to wear face shield. You have to wear face shield and face mask. Otherwise, hindi ka papasukin. Before you can even check in, you have to fall in line at a different counter wherein two documents will be asked from you. One would be your PCR, negative COVID-19 swab test result. Hi, ate. So here is how it looks like for me. And then the other one would be, of course, your flight ticket details. Saran. On my experience um, getting the swab test done, my agency had me schedule sa PRC Mandaluyong, and I was there around 1 p.m. I finished around 1:15 p.m. Fee that I paid was around 4,500 pesos, and yeah, it only took me 15 minutes. You will just have to wait for the result within 24 hours uh, via email. Then I just printed it out para ma present ko siya sa airport. Once done. That's a time na pwede ka nang pumunta sa check-in counter. So, dun sa check-in counter, of course, you have to present your passport and then your ticket details. And then also, they ask for the certificate of insurance. And for me, this was provided by my agency. And the coverage starts upon the departure from the Philippines up to 24 months. The normal process, they just have to weigh in your baggage. The carry-on would be 7 kg, and the check-in baggage would depend kung ilan yung kinuha mo. Then comes the immigration process. Before you can um, enter the immigration, the officers, yung nandun sa unahan, first they would ask for your boarding pass, yung binigay sa check-in counter. Next would be, again, your passport. And the next one would be the declaration, which is the COVID declaration of newly hired worker. Um, this is how it looks like. Ta -da. Now you are subjecting yourself to prescribed health checks by concerned authorities. Then after dun mismo sa immigration counter, again, your passport, your flight ticket details, boarding pass, and now they will be looking for your overseas employment certificate. And it is important that you also attended the pre-departure orientation seminar or certificate of attendance from PIDOS. Before they say na personal attendance is a must, but because of COVID, we have it on Zoom meeting for like six to seven hours, I think. And it is important na nandun ka sa umpisa hanggang sa dulo. Kasi they have or they do screenshot kasi eh, sa simula on the middle and also on the latter part. So it is important that when you attend this seminar, first you have to have a reliable internet connection. Kasi usually pag sa Zoom or online meetings, pag nawawala-wala yung internet mo, is makikikap ka sa meeting. And it's very hard na makabalik ka sa meeting because there's only one host. And ang dami niyang sinasabi, ang dami niyang pinaprovide na guidelines, tips um, for traveling. So, hindi niya mapapansin kung sino yun na yung nawala. And then, pag nag-screenshot siya and wala yung pangalan mo, then you have to reschedule again. So, ayun, that's very, very important.
Wir bitten die Passagiere, mit Sitzplätzen in Bereich C an Bord zu gehen. Alle anderen Fluggäste bitten wir, sitzen zu bleiben und weitere Durchsagen abzuwarten.
Kaming sa bawah ko lang yung minamay. Kaganina pa ito. Ay, ang ganda ko. Tingnan mo. Random eats whenever we come.